on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. And I can't wait. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am High and Mighty Joe. It is Easter as a recording of this. And in just a day or two, they will be shutting down the beloved Tropicana Hotel and Casino right here on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana. It should be a fun and exciting time. We're asking you to say goodbye to the Tropicana along with us one last time. We're going to see all of the things that we can. And uh, from what I've been told, they have already started letting the place go. So uh, I've, apparently there is green algae already in the water uh, where the pool is and things like that. They are not taking good care of it because they don't need to because they are tearing it down. And they're going to be building an Oakland A's uh, baseball diamond because the Oakland A's are now coming to Las Vegas so they will be the Las Vegas A's so we're going to go ahead and turn this around here we're gonna go ahead and show you the Tropicana this one last time on the outside of the look here it is the Tropicana that we have the Tropicana that we know and we're going to say goodbye I'm asking you to come along with me Aaron and the lovely cat so let's get going. And here it is, the Tropicana, saying our goodbyes. I think we're going to do a uh, small photo shoot uh, out here before we go in. Now the Tropicana Las Vegas is a casino and hotel on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada. It is owned and operated by the Valleys Corporation on land leased from gaming and leisure properties. The hotel and casino occupies 35 acres at the southeast corner of the Tropicana and Las Vegas Boulevard intersection. Now the resort was conceived by Ben Jafe, part owner of the Fountain Blue Hotel in Miami Beach. The $15 million Tropicana opened on April 4th, 1957 and has 1,467 rooms. At the mo as the most expensive Las Vegas resort developed up to that point. The Tropicana includes a 44,570 a 44, square foot casino. The hotel originally opened with low rise structures containing 300 rooms and the property was later launched several expansions including two hotel towers added in 1979 and 1986 respectively. Now, Penn National Gaming bought the Tropicana in 2015 before selling it to Bally's in 2022. A year later, Major League Baseball's Oakland Athletics reached an agreement with Bally's to permanently shut down and demolish the Tropicana, making way for the two new projects, a baseball stadium on nine acres of the site and a new resort bearing the Bally's name right. on the remaining land. at the property and see what they have got left headed around here to the towards the pool entrance 
you know, all kinds of things. It, and they're gonna get rid of all of this. Like, it just, all of these rooms. The real grass. Yeah, they're gonna be getting rid of that too. As you can see, here you go. I've already started letting, letting the water go. And of course this will be torn down as well, this little bridge area over here that we're walking across. And then of course, here is the pool area. And of course, all of this will also be destroyed. And you know, I wonder, my dear, I wonder what they're going to do with all the artwork and stuff like that. If they're going to sell it off or if, you know, if they're, uh, what, what they're going to do to it. Yeah, because I don't think they're going to want to put it up in a ballpark. Yeah, I don't think most of this art would probably go very well inside the ballpark. On the other hand, it would be nice if the ballpark had a picture of the Tropicana yeah. uh, inside the ballpark as a remembrance. It would? That would be really cool. Yeah, I just can't believe that we're saying goodbye to the Tropicana. Now here we are in the chapel area. When you get married in Las Vegas, your Las Vegas wedding should be elegant, memorable, and express your personal taste and the Tropicana Las Vegas weddings definitely offered several unique indoor and outdoor chapels at the famous Las Vegas Resort, one of which was sure to make your wedding definitely unforgettable. From a walk down the aisle to your final toast, anything could have been done right here at the Tropicana Las Vegas. Now, Several people have gotten married over the years here at the Tropicana Las Vegas and it is a very sad thing to be able to see the property and see as it's deteriorating as they're preparing for clothes in just a day or so. It is absolutely a remarkable and sad experience to be able to see all of the things that were once a great thing for two loved people who were loved by their family and friends and Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green uh, two professional wrestlers uh, got married here as well and they will never now be able to celebrate their love at the place that they got married again because they are now tearing it down. So definitely a sad, sad day right here in beautiful Las Vegas. And you can see right there the wishing well. When you get married, you make that one, that one wish together at the chapel wishing well. Anymore? 
So true. What are they going to tell me? I'm sorry. And t you can see all these machines are already down. And of course, Robert Irvine's right over here. It's still going. assume that they will be doing something with all of these games and stuff like that either selling them off or putting them in a different property I do know that Bally's will be putting another property here as well as the ballpark so maybe they will just save them and use them for their new property as well I'm not exactly sure that is absolutely a beautiful ceiling I hope they save that Now when you get a chance to walk into the Tropicana, chances are that you have gotten a glimpse of the unique stained glass Tiffany ceiling. Now the ceiling itself uh, has been shining through the hotel for many years. It was originally brought here in the 70s. It is not a part of the original Tropicana Hotel. It was added later on. However, on the other side, after the lights are completely turned out, I am wondering what is going to happen to this and if they are actually going to be able to get it to a collector or if they're going to be able to use it inside the new stadium. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do, but people have been talking about preserving it and it would be a, master, uh, a shame to definitely see this handcrafted masterpiece destroyed. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that place is. You can see it's got wine and liquors and stuff like that. So I, I, I want to say that might have been the sports book. I'm not sure. But it's definitely closed down. They're not letting anybody in. The Laugh Factory is closed. You can't get into the Tropicana Theater. It's closed. The world is your playground. Yeah, so many things you do just never get a chance to see again because it'll all be gone. Now, I don't know if they're actually going to start demolition um, that soon, like as in, you know what I mean, right away, like as soon as they close the property or what. I haven't heard anything about that. I did hear though that we are most likely probably not going to get a implosion. That they're probably going to tear it down just piece by piece instead of imploding it all at once. And then removing the rubble. So. Well, we're going to check out the floor. This is the very top floor. So this is where all the suites are. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why they're cleaning these rooms. Um, I mean, they only got a couple more days left and then they're just going to tear it all down. I want to go ahead and wish you guys a happy Easter. Uh, as a recording of this, it is Easter. So I wanted to go ahead and say happy Easter. We're going to go down here to the fire exit and uh, check out the view that you would have through the fire escape exit area.
and I think then that is going to pretty much do it for us up here on the top floor. Let's go ahead and see if we can keep around here. Pretty decent view. Well, cat, we're saying goodbye to the Tropicana. I can't believe that it's going away. I really can't. I cannot believe it's going away. Well, I think that's going to do it for us here today. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. You can take it one step further and ring that notification bell. It'll keep you up to date on all the future adventures that will be going on, on our channel. It is sad to say goodbye to the Tropicana uh, here in Las Vegas, but unfortunately that is exactly what we're doing here today. And on Easter nonetheless, what a day. So wanted to go ahead and say if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. You can take it one step further and ring that notification bell. Keeps you up to date on all the future adventures will be going on our channel. And I think that's going to do it for us here today. For Aaron, the lovely cat, and myself. Tune in. Tom Rogers. Out. See you next time.